Hello, this is Dia Damson, and today we are going to paint a pumpkin. And I already pre sketched a pumpkin, um, and pretty much the pumpkin is um, oval, but it's more circular oval uh, in this case. And then I separate it on um, five parts, two on each side. They kind of look like bananas, and one in the middle looks more like an eye. Um, and of course you don't want to leave um, the ends of those shapes pointy but you want to round them and the um, stem in the middle is kind of coming inside that oval so it's not just sitting on the top but it's um, kind of inside um, the next part was just the leaves. I gave them just a shape. These are definitely not leaves of a pumpkin, but that's okay. Um, in art, you are kind of the boss. So if you decide to do something, just go ahead and do it. Have fun with it. So the first thing I'm doing is just putting the pumpkin down on the surface that it's sitting. Um, starting a little bit darker colors right under the pump pumpkin and then just loading my brush with water and distributing the paint all around. The next part is mixing a little bit of um, green and brown and adding the veins of the leaves and with the ochre I am filling in gently the leaves. The leaves are not fresh um, the pumpkin is being picked up, so now the leaves are starting to dry up, so I'm using a yellowish, uh, brownish colors. Um, and just filling it in, using water, um, not using too much color or too much water. It's kind of like a happy medium, and it's good to go ahead and just play around. Um, gonna be touching up every single thing, at least... Um, three times if not more so um, a lot of times I'll touch up an area move to a next one so I can give that area a chance to dry so I can come back and add another layer I'm gonna start with the shadow part of the pumpkin and it's a mixture between brown and red um, so it's kind of giving me uh, a muddy um, reddish color um, you can also use a little bit of blue and make it more purple, but it's kind of up to you. I, I was trying to keep it more towards the um, dirty, orangey, yellow, um, reddish colors. And again, so the first layer was very, very light. Now I'm going to start putting a little bit more of emphasis on the areas that are inside shadows. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Starting with the orange, um, the light is kind of the mid upper part of the pumpkin, so I'm gonna leave that pump, pump, uh, that part of the pumpkin much, much lighter, um, almost uh, like a plain canvas. I most of the times I don't leave plain canvas. I might use um, like a dirtier brush with the color from the area and cover that white canvas, but white canvas is beautiful, um, or paper, whatever you're using. So um, it's really, really up to you. Play around, figure out what makes you happy. So like you see here, I'm just using kind of a semi-washed um, brush and kind of touched up that white area a little bit. So it's still gonna look like a glow, but it's not gonna be starchy white. Um, the next leaf um, that I'm adding, half of it is going to be green and the other half is going to be kind of a um, yellow ochre. And pretty much that's it. This one will be a little fast. And um, again, I'm going to go over adding shadows to the leaves. Now the, the water is a little dried up so I can add another layer to the leaves and not be afraid that it's going to start mixing. The little swirlies I am barely touching with the tip of the brush and when I'm loading the brush 
um, I am kind of twirling and pulling away so I'm not um, using that mixing type of swirling it around but I'm actually pulling um, towards me and the bristles are not getting messed up and keeping them all together so I can use the tip of the brush. On this part I'm just going to make it uh, wet in the beginning and with almost transparent blue. So there is water, like a blue water. And then I'm going to add a little more color but I want to keep that area much much lighter than the, top, than the bottom. And a lot of times when you make the area wet and you just um, put a little bit of paint, the paint starts playing around with the water and creates really cool elements. So you can have fun with that too. And again, I'm going to be going around and just touching up and just adding little by little spot here, line there, wait until it dries a little bit and then continue. more shadows and the more water you use um, the more wet obviously if the paper is going to be the canvas is going to be so you can need more and more time to wait between coats so going around and adding little by little actually helps a lot. There's a little shadow here, so I'm using browns, um, a little bit with black. And it's not like I'm outlining everything perfect, I'm skipping, I'm just adding on one little area, then skipping, then adding a little bit more on that area. And we are done. So if you like this video, please give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell if you like to know when the next video um, will be posted. And um, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed it.